Antonio from Brazil writes, I think we all know the meaning of decibels in terms of sound volume, but I just can't understand the meaning of decibels at the digital domain. When I read CDs can produce 96 decibels or Blu-rays can produce 144 decibels, which is the same as a jet taking off, that makes no sense to me since digital files and medias need a lot of analog stuff to come to life. Could you help me with my understanding? Yeah, you know, decibels, named after Bell, um, they describe loudness, amplitude, volume, as you well know. And we're describing things that we actually hear and we know we cannot hear digital, right? Digital is just computer stuff. Ones and zeros, can't hear it. So how does decibels relate in digital? Well, one might ask, how do decibels relate in magnetic tape? How do decibels relate in the grooves of a vinyl record. What you're kind of confusing here is one is a measure of analog, right? Decibels is an analog measurement of, of sound pressure, air pressure changing it, it, in things that we can hear. Magnetic tape, grooves on a record, digital in a computer are ways of storing a facsimile of that loudness. So let's take the grooves on a record. The bigger the groove, the higher the decibels, the louder that will eventually come out. The smaller the wiggles, the lower the decibels. So we must convert those wiggles in the analog or, or in, the, in the vinyl record into something we can hear in the same way that we need to convert that computer language into something that we can hear. Really no difference. The difference being in how we do it. In a vinyl record, those wiggles are moving the cantilever, the thing that moves back and forth, the needle, and that is moving a coil of wire closer and farther away from a magnet. And as those two things go like that, they create an electrical energy field. And the more they go, the closer they get, uh, the, uh, which is this, the size of the wiggle, the greater the electrical energy. And then we convert that electrical energy into sound pressure changes. And that's what we hear. A computer is no different. A computer is just describing those wiggles with higher and lower numbers, something easy for a computer to store. And once it does store those, then we have to retrieve those, convert those numbers into this analog, which is an electrical voltage change, and convert that then through an amplification device into changes that a speaker makes in air pressure. So it's all kind of the same thing. It's just how it is stored and retrieved. So last thing I will say, when you hear 144 dB, which is the sound of a jet engine, that is just a representation of what would be recorded by a microphone standing next to a jet engine, as opposed to putting it over here and then measuring this background noise. And those decibels are just telling us as a way of measuring what those levels are. But how we store those levels and how we recreate them is a whole different thing that really has nothing to do with the decibels that come out. So I hope that helps. Thanks.